Hi, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own Wi-Fi package and uh, inject into the uh, air in Kali Linux. So this is the Kali Linux that I have right now. And uh, I have uh, a couple of Wi-Fi interfaces. I mean, the, the, this, this one, this is a built-in Wi-Fi interface, which I'm not going to use in this demonstration. And uh, this is the interface, Wi-Fi interface that I'm going to use the, for the packet injection. And uh, to prove that the packet injection is, a, you know, successful, I'm going to do some packet capture using this interface. So first, uh, let me show you uh, if a packet injection is a successful or not uh, on this interface. So the way how you can test packet injection is working or not is uh, L replay uh, minus nine, and uh, just to give. Uh, uh, Wi-Fi adapter interface name and the way how it works is uh, so when you execute this command it is gonna it is gonna send out some packets and check if uh, it is receiving you know the response or not so basically it sent out uh, uh, broadcast proof request packet and uh, it received uh, proof response that's how it knows that the uh, packet injection is working. So using uh, proof request and proof response, it says that you know it found the two access points. And once it found, uh, once it found two access point, then it is gonna send out the uh, directed uh, uh, proof request. You got thirty packets, and then you know shows how many packets it received. So in this case. Uh, for this access point, it sent out uh, 30 packets and uh, received 29. Uh, this one, uh, it received 17. So you can tell that you know this access point is uh, much close to uh, my laptop than you know this access point. So now we know that uh, you know this adapter is supporting uh, packet injection. Then then what we have to do is. Uh, uh, we have to put uh, WLAN 1 and WLAN 2 uh, into the same frequency because I'm gonna I'm gonna inject the packet uh, on this interface and uh, capture on this interface to prove that uh, packet injection is uh, successful. And also this WLAN 1, I'm gonna do the packet capture so that this should be in the monitor mode. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm using channel 149, but as long as the WLAN 1 and the WLAN 2, you know, they are on the same channel, then it doesn't matter. So now WLAN 1 is ready, and I'm configuring WLAN 2. So if you check the uh, the WLAN one and then WLAN two, so now they are on the uh, same frequency. So now we are ready. Uh, the program that we are gonna use to make Aero two point eleven Wi-Fi package is called Scapy. So basically, Scapy is a you know packet manipulation program written in the Python, and uh, both the Scapy and uh, Python are installed in the Kali Linux by default. So all you have to do is uh, just uh, uh, start Python and uh, import all the functions from the Scapy module. Uh, so now I imported all the Scapy, you know, Scapy functions, and uh, to see all the network layers that are supported by the scapy just uh, enter ls command and you can see uh, uh, a lot of network layers uh, supported by the scapy and uh, uh, using all these layers uh, it is very easy to you know, con you know to, to make your own package but in today's video 
uh, just uh, we are gonna focus on uh, these 802.11 layers to make a couple of management frames and inject into the RL. So, uh, so before doing that, we are gonna uh, specify two variables in here. So basically, I'm just uh, defining the my MAC address and the destination MAC address, which I'm gonna use uh, uh, when we are making the uh, the you know Wi-Fi tickets. So by the way, uh, all the commands that I'm gonna use in this video, uh, they are gonna be available in this link. So also, I'm gonna put down this link in the you know video description so that you can check out later on. Uh, the first packet that we are going to make is uh, the pull request packet, uh, which is uh, one of the management frames in uh, Wi Fi packets. So, just to save some time, uh, I'm just copying and pasting uh, the commands in this link. So, the way how to make your own packet in the SCAP is uh, just the stacking of the layers. And if you need, just uh, tweak some parameters in that layer. So this is basically what I'm doing in here. So to make a proof request packet, first uh, I put the radio tab layer, and then I put dot eleven layer, but I change the MAC address in here. Uh, and uh, this is a proof request uh, uh, layer. And uh, I don't think uh, really you need this one, but just uh, anyway, I just put empty information element layer there and uh, this is the command that you know the, uh, to send out you know, this packet so I just sent out one, one packet uh, into the air but how you know, how do we know actually uh, packet injection is successful and uh, this packet is in the in the air right so that's why I'm gonna do the packet capture on this interface and if you remember, uh, this is uh, the MAC address, you know, my MAC address that I used uh, in this the packet. So this is my uh, address. So in 802.11 frame, address 1 is a destination address, and address 2 is a transmitter address, which is my address, and address 3 is a BSS ID address, which is also transmit address. So just I'm gonna apply this filter and then I'm gonna start the packet capturing on this interface. So let's get started. So I'm gonna send one packet one more time. So as you can see in here, uh, there is one proof request message from this transmitter IP address and you can tell that you know packet injection is uh, successful. I'm injecting the packet on this interface and uh, capturing the packet on uh, this WLAN 1 interface, right? The next packet that I'm gonna I'm gonna show you is uh, the authentication packet. So this is a uh, you know how you can build the authentication packet. If you search the uh, YouTube video, uh, you will see a lot of um, you know Wi-Fi denial of uh, service attack, and uh, most of them. Are actually using the uh, this uh, the authentication packet so constantly uh, you know it is sending out uh, the authentication uh, packet so that uh, the client cannot uh, cannot associate with the access point that's how they can cause that the denial of service attack using the authentication packet so we are gonna send out uh, this packet as well and uh, capture the packet to prove that uh, Actually, we successfully sent out the, uh, uh, the authentication packet, right? So I'm gonna start packet capture. I'm gonna send the authentication message. So I sent out two times and then you can see that uh, actually the authentication message is uh, sent out, uh, seen in the air uh, from this uh, source map address, right? So that's how you can make you know the authentication packet, and uh, the last message that I'm gonna show you is uh, the beacon packet. Uh, beacon packet is also very easy uh, to make. So this is uh, how you can make your own beacon packets. So 
in the beacon package are the package that every access point is uh, sending out periodically to let the Wi-Fi clients know its presence, right? So that Wi-Fi clients can associate uh, uh, with this access point. So I'm not going to do, uh, do the packet capture on this one because we already know that the packet injection is working. Uh, the next one, next one that I'm going to show you is um, uh, so let's say we have a packet capture, you know, Wi-Fi packet capture, and then how we can read, uh, read this, you know, this packet capture into the scapy and uh, manipulate the field and the playback into the air. So this is called the replay, you know, packet replay, right? So you read, uh, the, you know, the packet uh, from the packet capture and the manipulate and the playback into the air. So already I have a, uh, already I have a. Uh, I prepared the packet capture in here. So this one contains some management frames in here. So uh, the way how you can read uh, this packet capture in the in the scap is uh, uh, using the function RDP cap. Uh, so So all the packets are uh, loaded in uh, in this variable. If you check the uh, types, so this is a packet list, right? So uh, this packet list contains. I uh, some some packets contain uh, my neighbors' information. So just I'm gonna I'm gonna use one packet that doesn't contain any information. Uh, so. Already, I mean, I inspected, you know, this packet capture. That's how I know that, you know, this uh, the the packet that I'm gonna use. This is just a generic packet that, you know, that does not contain anybody's information. So that's uh, uh, number seven eight, 78. So if you see, if you check this packet, then this is basically. Uh, uh, Proof recast uh, with a uh, SSID zero, meaning that uh, this is a you know broadcast proof recast message. So, uh, so we are gonna so but but if you see the address in here, uh, it has a uh, you know somebody someone else's address, right? So I'm gonna manipulate uh, this address two and the address three and uh, send out into the air. So the way how to do that is, uh, again, I mean, all this information will be in the uh, in the link that I'm gonna share. Uh, so, so this is uh, basically how you can change the field, uh, this MAC address. So this get layer function will get the layer dot eleven layer, and then I'm I'm changing this address. Uh, in the packet to my address now if you see this packet again the address changed to my address and uh, I mean right now uh, you know how to send out this packet to the uh, to the air right so basically this is gonna be uh, this command So once again, let's do the packet capture uh, on the WLAN one, and make sure that you know this packet is sent out. Uh, as you can see, hmm. yeah. So something you know something funny happened in here. So so I sent out this uh, proof request, and uh, this guy actually replied for my proof request because my proof request is a broadcast proof request. And uh, you know this access point actually replied for my uh, you know my proof request packet, so that that was uh, you know funny. So let's let's try one more time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this access point is responding to my proof request message. Okay. So that's how uh, you can replay you know the packet from the packet capture. 
and the last one that I'm gonna show you is uh, Scappy also can uh, you can use Scappy to sniff uh, the package you know the Wi-Fi package so this is uh, how you can do that so I'm gonna define one function uh, one function in here so basically what I'm doing is uh, uh, So this is a uh, you know this is a uh, the command that I'm gonna use to sniff Wi-Fi packets and what it does is uh, so I'm sniffing the packet on this interface and whenever there is a packet then you know it is calling this function and this function is defined in here and uh, what it does is uh, so uh, if this packet has a dot eleven beacon layer uh, that means that uh, this is a eight hundred two dot eleven Wi-Fi you know Wi-Fi beacon packet and uh, if this is a beacon packet and if uh, the MAC address you know MAC address is not in this access point list then append it in uh, append it in this list and just print out uh, information in you know some information in this beacon packet like uh, for example SSID, RSSI and the frequency right so that's this is all you no know, all it does so when I enter uh, this command, so it is gonna sniff for uh, the Wi-Fi packets and then display the information in the beacon message. So let's see. So as you can see in here, uh, so yeah, I guess I mean still it keeps searching right now. So it is on channel one forty nine. That is why it, you know it doesn't see a lot of Wi-Fi uh, access point right now. Okay, uh, so this is uh, how you can uh, you can make your own Wi-Fi packets uh, using the SCAPI, you know, the packet manipulation program. And uh, I hope I mean this video was useful for somebody. And um, yeah, thanks, thank you guys. Yeah, bye.